Ooh, the family that you have in a restaurant. We all find each other, and we're all a bunch of like crazy people who just want to do fun things together. We're all very interdependent with each other, and we have to make things happen. If you're really busy, it's every single minute. Something has to be up to go out to the guest. We're all unified by these ideas, and we're all working together to create this thing. And you know that that person is there for you. People start with their core unit of their family. You know, then you have the people that you know you want to see at those parties. So these are friends, coworkers, loved ones that you have picked up along the way on your journey. That can be very special because they also bring their story to the table too. Everything I had planned for the year was canceled. All my travel, a lot of my events. I normally do a lot of pop-ups with the Filipino American community. With this lockdown, it meant no more pop-ups. A lot of my friends and colleagues, we got into that next gear of trying to figure out what was next to do because suddenly all the rules had changed. Let's get ready and we're gonna make the best of what we have. I'm getting together with some friends, you know, just spend time together. I started doing a little prep, but I want us to cook and eat together. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's start making some food together like, like we always do. Today, I am going to be making caramelized banana with a chocolate malt rice crisp topping. The banana is going to be brulee, so it's gonna have like a crunchy candy shell on the top. And we have some Lao action from Sang. Delicious sun-dried, um, was it sticky rice kind of patties? And then we're gonna crush them, rehydrate them, and with the red curry and whatnot. And oh, then red curry. with all these foods, I also had to bring my camera. Oh, Hope that's okay. I know, I love it when you take pictures. This year has definitely been a huge pivot in what I do. It's kind of given me more time to create virtual food. So digitally showing people how to cook Lao food online. And that's kind of been my huge pivot so far. The big reason why I got into Lao food was to also not just honor my family and my parents, but my way of teaching people about the Lao community, Lao culture, Lao history is actually through food. I'm making a Dungeness crab salad with creme fraiche, yuzu kosho, and pickle celery. And it's getting topped with smoked trout roe. I've been able to share certain hardships with close friends that you might not even be able to share with your own family, I think is what you know, brings me closer to certain friends and those are the friends that feel like family to me. We have Nicole's zucchini milanesa, the vegetarian version. I paired it with a chipotle mayo and caramelized onion mm -hmm. and a little sharp cheddar. Mm, yummy. I just think about my ancestors making tamales and making your own masa, like this is an intense job. And I'm happy to expand on it, to pass on my traditions and anything I know to my family members. It's me paying it forward because somebody took the time to teach me. People like to introduce their food to each other. It's very intimate, I think, sharing a meal with someone, knowing that that food was created with love. I think a found family is people that you choose to be around, you choose to really share your life with, feel like you are at home. You find those people that understand you, and if it keeps happening, then you just want to keep having them around. A holiday meal for me it means something that is a feast, something that combines history and ritual and celebration. It's about people coming together who have a shared story so that when you put that on the table, there is visually, viscerally, something that you see that is a connection even before you taste the food. Yay. Oh. Hi. Oh, that Hi. looks fancy. Yay, we're all here. Look at all of this food. Just to be able to sit here with all of you, yes, there is some preparation. You know, we're all very responsible. Um, but we can make 
this kind of interaction still happen. Even though this is such a negative time, but finding the light within this time mm -hmm. to build off of that and and be better to ourselves and to our neighbors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna think like, wow, you know, this year has gone by so fast, but this is one of the special meals that I've had this year. One, two, three, food. Okay, <laughs> no, now you three. One, two, three, food. Perfect. Okay, we can dig it. Okay. Cheers, Cheers to 2021. To 2021. Yay. Yay. Yay.